this up today. One question that stood out to me when I was thinking about the the communion and some of the things that uh, Mrs. Johnson was saying and some of the things that were being taught about communion and that it's a tool and it's a weapon. I wondered why Paul didn't tell us or tell the other churches in the epistles about these other meanings for communion being stated in her book and in the communion revival, because it seems like that by not knowing these things for the past couple of thousand years that people have been deficient when we know that scripture is sufficient. So that's one thing to consider about that. And and to also be aware that the blood of Jesus does speak a better word according to Hebrews 12, 24, and it is a better covenant. You know, you heard in some of those clips that you heard Lou Engel say those things that, that his blood is speaking a better word and a better covenant than abortion. Well, his blood most certainly does speak a better word and brings a better covenant. And we should consider that there is no precedent in the new covenant for repenting on behalf of our nation and another's sins. And again, as I said, that's a type and shadow of the Old Testament when prophets and the others did this. So we're in a new covenant now where that's not necessary. Christ is ever interceding at the right hand of the Father. 